Hello. Somebody once said that you only have one chance, a single opportunity, to make a first impression. That is true, and it is true at LTC. It's true in many of the events that you are be doing, and it's true in the sign language event. Because when you step forward and introduce yourself, you are making that first impression. You're going to tell me by the way you walk in, by the way you stand, by the way you stare at the audience, whether or not you're prepared to do what you're about to do. So your introduction is something that you need to perfect. You need to get to where you recognize the posture that you have. You need to know that when you're coming in and you're focusing on the judges and you're focusing on the people, you're doing so in a way that shows you're confident. You need to make that first impression before you make even your first sign. Okay? So when you walk in, walk in comfortably. Do not walk in meekly. Okay? Walk in with some confidence. You want, if you're going to be an interpreter as an adult, you need to make sure that you've, you have communicated that you know what you're doing to those that you're communicating with or interpreting for. So, first impression. Don't skimp on the introduction. Dress. So one of the parts of the introduction is how you're dressed. Dress so that your eyes, so that what you're wearing don't hurt the eyes of the person watching you. Girls, you look gorgeous. You look beautiful. You look wonderful in those very brightly colored, lots of flowers and design dresses. Can you imagine that doing this in front of your eyes for 45 minutes while someone's interpreting? Guys, Sloppy shirts, not going to work. You need to dress nicely. Guys, avoid, gals too, avoid stripes and plaids, okay? The eyes exhaust looking at patterns. So if you're going to interpret, it's best if you wear a plain shirt. Girls, fluorescent fingernail polish that glows in the dark, even in the light. You know, there is some of it out there that just like bright red or, you know, fluorescent green. Avoid having those colors, neutral colors, if you're going to have fingernail polish on. You don't have to have bare nails, but keep the, the, the color not to where it becomes spots in the eyes as you're interpreting, okay? Um, that's it for the dress. Oh, the, that's what I was going to say. The shirt. If you're wearing your LTC t-shirt, no points will be taken off. We decided some time, a long time ago that the LTC t-shirt, regardless of the design, is going to be acceptable. So if you have nothing else, you will have an LTC t-shirt, and you can wear that to do your introduction. So the introduction, what is it about? It is you coming in and presenting yourself to the audience as well as the judges. And you're going to come in with confidence and you're going to say, hello. Hello is just a simple touch of the head. Now, it's not a salute. All right. You're not at, at and you're, you should be, you know, if we're going to use soldier speak here, you should be at ease. All right. If your feet are together, you're going to eventually fall down, all right? Get your feet apart. Get comfortable, all right? Relax. Do not be tense. Hello. My name, my, just open hand at your chest, name, 
And you can put the word is in if you want to. Is. Is the letter I coming from the chin. And then you need to fingerspell your name. If you don't know how to fingerspell your name, I did, I did a section, I did a video on fingerspelling. And it'll give you all the details on how to fingerspell your name. I'll tell you, your hand needs to be here. And you need to say the words and not the letters. Okay? My name is... Paul Lemons. Okay? My number, and you just kind of like your fingers are kissing each other. My number is, and if you can't remember your number, this is not a memory drill. All right? You got your name tag on? Look at it. It is okay to look at your name tag and go, okay, my number is 20146. 20146. And here you would say the numbers, all right? You don't have to do, uh, what, 20146, 20,146, all right? You don't have to do the numbers like that. It is the individual digits. That's all you have to know, all right? So all, all you need to know is the number. You don't have to know how to do thousands and tens of thousands or whatever we're up to now. My number is 20146. I... And you just point to yourself, will, okay, it's just your hand passing past your ear, B, is the letter B coming off your chin, and here you need to make a choice. Are you going to be signing this song, or are you going to be interpreting it, or are you going to be singing it? Whatever your mind thinks that you are doing, that's the sign you need to use. This is the sign for signing. It's the letter D just kind of circling towards you. Signing. Singing. Okay. It's the, just waving your hand over your other hand. And interpreting. Two F kind of widened out F hands. Kind of going back and forth. So I will be interpreting or I will be signing or I will be singing, and then you fingerspell your song. Faithful love, if that's your song. Or, nobody fills my heart like Jesus. Okay? And if that looks fast to you, it probably was. But if you watch my video on fingerspelling, you'll understand what I was doing there. Those were words, not letters. Anyway, once you've signed your song, you can look over at me. I will be there. I will hit the button, whatever button that happens to be, and away you go. All right? That's the introduction. If you have questions, want to have more information, need a little more detail, don't hesitate to call me, text me, tweet to me, whatever, all right? I will get back to you. All right, good luck. Look forward to seeing you there at LTC.